What's up guys? Today I want to show you how to do a really simple 22 gauge coil build and we're going to be using the Ohm's Law calculator from Steam Engine. First thing you want to do is go into Google and type in Steam Ohm's Law and that will bring you up to steam-engine.org forward slash ohm.asp. Click this link and then once you get to this page right here, you want to click coil wrapping. You can do really advanced coils if you want to. You can do twisted and all that kind of stuff. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to show you guys how to use the Ohm's Law calculator on Steam Engine. And we'll see how accurate it is. For this, we're going to be using 22 gauge canthal. So I need to put that in here. So there's our canthal. And you don't have to worry about this right here. And right here, you can select different types of wire. But for this, we're going to be using... Canthal A1 and it's going to be 22 gauge and I'm going to do a single coil and my target resistance I'm going to be shooting for somewhere between 0.3 and 0.4. I like a vape right in that area. Let's do a 0.35 so you can see how this works. You can actually type in the exact resistance that you want. And then up here, you're going to want to choose the diameter of your coil. I'm going to be wrapping mine if you click on this little link right here. So all that hides it and shows it. I'm going to be wrapping mine on a 332nd sized bit or the equivalent. So I select that and then you don't have to worry about this length or anything. Now over here, you see that it's showing me that if I do six full wraps, I will get a 0.33 ohm coil and that's not too bad. So I think I will go with that. If I went uh, rounded to half wraps, I would need seven and it would give me a 0 0.36. So I'm going to shoot for the 0 0.33. That sounds about right. Okay guys, so for this coil, I'm going to need some needle nose pliers, a set of cutters, some 22 gauge canthal, a couple of screwdrivers. I'll actually be wrapping on this one. Then of course, we're going to need an Addy. I'm going to use the Little Boy RDA and obviously some e-juice. And I have this little thing right here that allows me to gauge the widths of these screwdrivers. For this one here, this is like the, I don't know, probably second or third biggest in one of them little screwdriver kits. Right here is my 332nd. If I pop this in there, you can see that it's not a perfectly tight fit, but it's close enough to 332nd that I'm comfortable with that. So all we need now is just a piece of canthal. And this 22 gauge is pretty, pretty thick. So just be careful because as you see it will fly all over the place and you want to make sure that you don't poke yourself in the eye with it or something because it's really really thick so i got my piece of canthal try to wrap these as close as i can get remember we need six of them we're going to go with two right there on that there's our six now as you can see this first wrap is a little crooked so all i'm going to do is just take my pliers i'll put my finger on the back side right here and just kind of pull it that direction and that is to just pull these, pull this wire up good and tight. And since this is 22 gauge, you know, you can pull on it pretty much however you want to, and you're not going to hurt it. So I'm going to cut this piece right here off. Straighten this out a bit. And now all I'm doing is just straighten these up, but I'm making sure that I don't overlap any of my coils here. So there's what we have right at the moment. I realize that looks kind of crude, but this is kind of difficult to do on camera. Now what I'm gonna do next, I wanna center it in the RDA, and it also has to sit very low. I'm gonna take this outer lead right here, and I'm just gonna bend it over, okay? You can see that right there, I just bend it over, and then I'm gonna take this leg and bend it back all right now i'm just going to take the two and straighten them back up that puts like a little bend in the wire and will help me easily center this coil up so it's nothing fancy nothing perfect just a little thing that i like to do to get my coil centered as best i possibly can now all we're going to do is pop this on the rda and then we'll straighten it up further and make sure that it looks nice and neat i'm putting the lead with the bend in it through the negative post on the outside and then the shorter one through the positive post in the center and i'm just going to slide it up like that right there once i get it in here i'm just going to push it over just slightly and then i'm going to hold it right there while I tighten up this negative lead. I want to get that fairly tight because this 22 gauge can handle it. I want to make sure that you leave some space between 
where your top cap's gonna go and all that. Now this doesn't have to be perfectly straight, doesn't have to be perfectly centered or any of that. I just wanna get it as far over as I can and on the inside of that lip, because this little boy RDA is kinda strange, so I just wanna make sure that my coil sits on the inside of this lip and this lip, because it has to go down in order to get the airflow right. So now that I have this pretty much where I want it, I'm gonna hold down on it right here like this. And that's going to ensure that the, when I go to tighten this down, that it doesn't pull my screwdriver and allow my cam ball to pull up tight against that positive. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down now. And I got to be careful because the center post on this tries to spin on me all the time. So I'm going to tighten it a little bit more, but I'm going to be very careful. Okay. Now I just want to cut the leads off. And make sure that you hold on to these when you're cutting this, when you're cutting any canthal, but especially when you're cutting 22 gauge because it's really thick and it will go flying. So currently this is what we've got. I want to go ahead and pull that off there. And before I do it, before I tighten it up or do any of that kind of stuff, because this is on the simple mod, I'm going to pull this off and check my resistance really quick. Fire it up and see what we got. So as you can see, the steam engine Ohm's Law calculator was pretty much spot on. It said six wraps would give us a 0.33 coil, and that's exactly what we have. That's with 22 gauge. So I know that the battery that I have in there is definitely within the limits of this coil. I have a Samsung 25R inside here. So now I can go ahead and pop this back on here and proceed to fire it and straighten the coil the way that I want it. So I'm going to pause the button. And thanks to Trevor Jones, I use this little technique all the time. And that is to just break the coils a little bit. So now I'm just going to take my needle nose pliers. I'm going to heat this up and I'm going to squeeze these to straighten them up and get them nice and uniform. By no means is this coil perfect or anything like that. This is just a little simple standard coil just to show you guys how to use the steam engine calculator and all that. But you can see it's nice and uniform. It looks pretty good. See how I got the positive and negative legs sticking out? You just take your needle nose pliers. Just kind of bend that up. Something about like that right there just to get them two legs out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and wick this. And I just like to get it started like that right there. And now I'm just going to fold these under, tuck that in like that. Same thing with this side. What I'm going to do, because this has to sit really low, and I know a lot of people out there probably won't agree with what I'm about to do, but I want to get this sitting down pretty low. And all I do is just simply push it down and I think that's pretty much going to do it. I don't want to rub this coil with that, but what I'm doing is I'm pushing the cotton up underneath this coil. That way I can get airflow going underneath. So let's see if you can see that in there. See how that little pocket is in there? And I'll allow air, airflow to go under the coil and over the coil. You know, I could check the resistance one more time just to make sure that we're still right in the range of where we want to be. And there you go, you see it went up just a tiny bit. We're at 0 0.34 and that's perfect. So now the only thing left to do is to put some e-juice on this. That's looking pretty good. Let's give this a fire and see what we get here. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a pretty wicked coil right here. I'm gonna, this is in single coil mode. So I just wanna get that sitting right there. If you can see that back in there, you can see my coil. That's exactly what we're looking for. So here it is, guys. Ready to rock and roll. Let's give it a vape. So as you guys can see, the vapor production on that was freaking fantastic and the flavor is just amazing. And this is just a really simple and easy setup. A nice simple coil, easy to make, and man, it's a fantastic vape. For this video, I just wanted to show you a really simple build, mainly to show you the steam engine Ohm's Law calculator works flawlessly. 
Any times you're building low like this, just make sure that you practice battery safety, use a good quality ohm reader, and that's pretty much it, guys. You know, be safe and start building some coils. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, take care and happy vaping.